Hey guys, I'm Eric Miller, driver of the 4421 car, hailing from Cumberland, Maryland. I've always been, uh, you know, had an outdoor mindset. I love the outdoors. Um, you know, I grew up camping and hiking and fishing and hunting. So, you know, that's really what got me started into four wheel drive. You know, we were we were going camping and going riding and things like that. And we wanted to see how far we could go. You know, we wanted to go further and further than anybody else. And it's been that like that adventure. You know, has always kind of um, kept me passionate about this. And that's what I love about racing. You know, it's it's an adventure at the end of the day, and you're doing things no one else is doing and seeing things no one else is seeing. So. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, that's kind of what it's all about, you know, friends and family and just a passion for living life, you know. I, I think we have a lot of fun here. You know, we work hard. We work our butts off, but we have fun. You know, we have fun doing it. And I think that's why we're able to be successful and stay motivated, so. So out of college, you know, I, I had no clue what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to race, but I knew I had to find a way to make it sustainable. You know, racing is a, it's an expensive hobby, um, so I, I use my marketing background really to my advantage to be able to garner some support sponsorship wise and whatnot but you know the reality of it was you know what was I going to do for a career was it going to be racing I didn't know um, so you know I've been able to take um, my education and build it into a race career but on top of that you know I've supplemented that with a, a job in the industry um, this this past winter um, I had a, a job offer and an opportunity from one of my longtime supporters pack racing springs to come on as the offered product manager they had uh, an entry level class they called the stock mod class so I said you know I think I can build build a truck that would be competitive at that level 35s you know they were stock I already had one um, and that kind of quickly morphed you know into uh, into me competing and uh, getting hooked on it you know I was uh, kind of tapering off uh, from my athletic career through high school and college I played ice hockey all through school um, but I hurt my shoulder as a junior so it was really about that time uh, when I was graduating that I really had started to get more serious about racing as a business um, and putting a team together to, uh, to be more serious. Uh, and this was when King of the Hammers was just starting to uh, kind of get some notoriety. And I had, I had, you know, caught wind of that and I always thought, man, that would be pretty cool. And here in 2009, I qualified at the first uh, East Coast qualifier at Roush Creek Off-Road Park. And uh, that was pretty special. I qualified in my Jeep with, uh, we just went out on a whim to race it. We were the second to last qualifying spot. And uh, that's when we really got serious about Ultra 4 racing, when we got that qualifier. To go to King of the Hammers for the first year in 2010, it was kind of surreal. We were fifth place our first year out um, with our only, uh, only fault being a flat tire and we weren't prepared to change it either. So that was the difference between first and fifth. And that was pretty confidence inspiring. I knew at that point, I mean, we went out there blind, essentially. I mean, a bunch of guys, rock crawlers from the East Coast, going to try to west, uh, race with the pros on the West Coast, and uh, and we put a good bid together and almost won that race. And I knew right there, then and there, that it was it was going to happen, one way or another. I was going to figure out how to win that race. And uh, you know, there again in 2012, uh, it all clicked for us. So you know, I've put you know my heart and soul into this sport, and it's paid off. But it's been just due to putting the time in, you know, spending the time building the cars, uh, tuning the cars, and and you know, driving the cars. So. So Miller Motorsports is comprised of about 12 individuals, um, four King of the Hammers. You know, I have a lot more support out there because it's a week-long event. It's the biggest race of the year. But uh, on the day-to-day, -day, Miller Motorsports is made up of three guys, myself, uh, Dominic, and John Balducci. So the dynamic of the team is pretty special. Um, everyone has, you know, the, the few things that they're really, really great at and excel at. You know, we, we can all, we're all capable of doing everything, um, you know, automotive-wise, but we each have um, specialized areas where we excel. Hi, I'm Dominic. I'm the fabricator here at Miller Motorsports. I'm John Balducci. I'm the lead technician for Miller Motorsports. I'll tell you, they don't use plans. They don't have any directions. They do it from their heart and their brain. And I think because they're so passionate and love it so much, that's why they're good at it. And if you love something, and I think that's the secret to love it. If you love it and you're passionate about it, you'll do it well. You'll never want to give it up. The thing that drives us the most is that there's no end to it. We never want to find the limit of it and say, ah, oh, that's good enough. It can always make stuff better, can always make it faster. So with an Ultra 4 race car, you know, <laughs> you have to have a, a good automotive foundation uh, to start with. I mean, it's, you know, it's probably one of the most complex cars in off-road there is because we're asking them to do so many things you know they're rock crawlers but then we have to ask them to go fast so you're trying to blend these uh, these two different disciplines into one um, so the cars you know they got to be lightweight yet they have to be strong you know they have to be wide to be able to be stable yet they have to be narrow to fit through the rock trails so um, for us it's really um, kind of become you know a trial and error kind of thing um, figure out what works best for where we're at when push comes to shove at the races and everything, you know, 
Eric knows we're going to do everything we possibly can and you know just have the cars ready as we possibly can and all we want is to win and we'll do whatever it takes and then at the same time you know for me to know that once he gets in the car and he crosses the start line that he's going to do the same for me you know work is work but at the end of the day you know I'm, I'm doing what i love with my friends it's a pretty special thing and i'm, I'm proud that you know we can uh, make a living at it and uh and be successful at it too you know, on the East Coast, uh, everything's private, privately owned anymore. You know, out West, there's still a lot of public land to recreate on, but here, if you don't own it, you're not allowed on it. Um, so I've been looking for some local opportunities to put together a kind of a test track. Um, here at the shop, we have uh, about 90 acres, but it's more, it's more mountain terrain. So it's good to test the Ultra 4 cars, but we're trying to uh, kind of spur uh, East Coast grassroots short course racing series. You know, Ultra 4 racing, at the end of the day, is expensive. I mean, there's no way to, to, to do it cheaply. Um, and we love racing. And we're all at different points in our, in our careers and, and, and you know, different levels of interest with racing. So what we're doing is we're taking some older rangers and uh, building a budget short course class. So we were looking for ground yesterday to, uh, to kind of test these trucks and run these trucks and also have us have a place to test the Ultra 4 cars. You know, growing up here in, in a small town and playing sports competitively, you know, really kind of factored into um, the same attitude that I have today uh, as a race car driver. You know, we're always, uh, you know, going back to the drawing board and saying, how can we improve and how can we get better? Um, I think that sets us apart from other teams, you know, that are just kind of in it as a hobby. Um, they want to go out and have fun, but, you know, we're looking to be uh, the best of the best and that's the only way to do it.